Hi everyone, Kamal here and this is the second video of our Windows 10 for phones review demo and uh, while in the first video we took care of the UI changes, start screen, app list and the notification handling, action center. In this video we will focus on uh, settings which is like uh, very important and it's a very important change. So from the action center you can just go to all settings and you can then go to settings and you see uh, the settings are redesigned so now all the settings that we have uh, we used to see on uh, windows phone 8.1 and obviously this was obviously not of our liking so everything is like such a big long list so now microsoft has like uh, made it much better so you have uh, these many categories of uh, settings system devices network wireless etc etc you can read and actually you can understand so we'll take you through few of the settings to understand so system so here in system you have different stuff like notification and actions you can set so these are the same settings that you will find on windows 8.1 but now they are segregated and categorized properly <coughs> cortana and search the cortana settings here and uh, going back <coughs> the speech storage sense Store sense is again same, not much different. It's the same uh, UI. Then your map setting and different settings about the system, USB device encryption. You go to about to see about the phone. You can see Windows 10 technical preview for phones. Long name, I think Microsoft will uh, shorten it somehow. <laughs> they think and the OS version is now 9941.124498. So it's different. I mean they have changed the naming scheme. But you can recognize the OS version by the this last after the dot you have 12498. So that tells you that it could have been something like 8.15.12498. Okay, <clears throat> now going back to settings and uh, like photos and camera. So this is changed and this looks more like what you could have seen on a Windows 10 desktop. So universal kind of. So here you can you see it's like looking a bit different. But anyways it has got the similar things and similar settings that you may have seen on windows phone 8.1 come going back <clears throat> we'll check then the devices in devices you have the uh, different you know connections keyboards project my screen etc etc in advanced you have uh, again the different okay uh, and then going back to settings again we have the network and wireless so obviously from cellular and sim you may have seen that uh, the <clears throat> toggle is missing but uh, again the things are more or less same as could have seen on uh, uh, windows phone 8.1 <coughs> sorry <clears throat> coming to personal personalization so background is there and uh, there is a bug otherwise we have already set a image here so this is where you set an image then you have sounds you can change which sound you want then um, for what you need to have the sound you can just uh, put it off as well for key press lock and unlock camera shutter etc now coming back to uh, lock screen so if you click on lock screen you go to a familiar kind of screen again so the theme is uh, i mean it usually in white but uh, again i mean you could have seen that we can actually go and set so these are like five quick access quick, quick status settings and how you can set the lock screen when you go to advanced setting you can actually they are set for how much time you want the screen to lock and that kind of settings okay <clears throat> so here is the screen timeout timing which can be set in advanced settings theme so you have dark or light or uh, then you can have the accent colors nothing much has changed here as well okay going back so accounts here you see the email and accounts sync setting kids corner etc etc okay now going back to time and language important so if you don't want to have Cortana, then you have to make some changes, then you must remember these settings. We'll come to uh, that in another video. We'll see how to uh, get the Cortana if you are outside of US. <clears throat> then uh, 
privacy and uh, ease of access it has a similar kind of thing that you may have already seen earlier uh, going to update and recovery so phone update again this uh, you know the screen and the things they don't look much different when the backup is like the similar you know similar screen that you see on windows phone 8.1 coming to extras <clears throat> you have nokia extras here touch so high sensitivity wake up navigation bar extras plus info okay so this is something i mean this has totally disappeared so it seems uh, the firmware is missing or something because uh, here you cannot see uh, software uh, i mean it should have been lumia denimo lumia cyan but nothing there so maybe an update is awaited a firmware update or something like that <clears throat> Yeah, so the color profile, sunlight readability. So these were uh, all about the settings. So settings have changed. They are sorted out uh, in a different way. It's easy to actually find out where you want to go. And it obviously, it's a, it's a improvement, much better and much needed improvement over what we used to see in terms of settings earlier. Okay, so this uh, video demo was all about the settings and we'll tackle more uh, like native apps or universal apps that has now arrived with windows 10 for phones in the next video thanks for watching